I'm thinking of switching my major to interior design. Hello everybody, my name is Allison Detterman and I am a sophomore here at the University of Connecticut and today I am going to be showing you my Yukon move-in week. My whole family came to drop me off on Saturday, which I'm sure is solely because they're really going to miss me and not at all because they've been craving daddy's noodle bar. I have to say that even just driving into campus was a totally different experience than last year. Over the past year, I've apparently completely forgotten what traffic is, and so I wound up being a good 45 minutes late to my hour-long unpacking slot. I think that sometimes, though, when things aren't going your way, you just have to step back and take a fresh perspective. Like, for example, this year, traffic is a really good thing. More cars means more people, means more potential friends, and means more events on campus for me to go to. So I just had a really laid back attitude and I actually think you could describe me as stoked about the traffic if my face in this video and my non-sociopathic laugh while trying to plug in my fridge or any indicators. <laughs> After 15 minutes of unpacking the car, we went for lunch in stores and we got our first real taste of what 11,000 residential students feels like. There were people everywhere. Even after lunch, when we went to go visit the cows and sample their hard work at the Yukon Dairy Bar, there was a line all the way out the door and onto the sidewalk. It was the first time you could go inside the dairy bar since I've been on campus at Yukon, and Jack was immediately dazzled by the opportunity to try the legendary Nacho Sunday, forgetting that mere hours earlier he had had a quart of noodles. But his stomach, unfortunately, did not forget. I'll be seeing you in four hours. <laughs> Jack, I was taking a video. <laughs> After my family left, no doubt for a fun ride home with Jack in the back seat, I went back to my room. As a freshman, UConn will assign you a room, so this was my first time getting to choose where I wanted to live, and I was lucky enough to be able to snag a room with two huge windows facing the street. Unfortunately, all of that gorgeous natural light was shining directly onto landfill-style piles of moving bags. Me and my roommate spent most of that afternoon unpacking and organizing. And by organizing, I mean trying to forge little tunnels through the bags, crates, and for some reason four different trash cans we had bought so we could make it from our door to our beds that night. But after two hours, even that simple task eluded us. So even though our room was so messy that we couldn't open the door without forcing two sacks of clothes and a chair out of the way, we got ready to go out and see what the campus had to offer. We were immediately derailed when right outside the student union, a massive throng of people were bumping music and getting hyped up by motivational speakers. A guy walking through the crowd gave me a candle and only after had I lit it in symbolic welcome to campus did I realize we were actually at the freshman's convocation. Anyways, I missed the beginning of the speech so I'm not totally sure why they lit this massive torch like they were about to drop the sickest opening Olympic ceremony of all time, but I'm sure it was symbolic. If you're from the class of 2025, welcome! Welcome to the class of 2025! If you need help finding a class, ask a junior or above. We did eventually make it to our own classes event that night where we got to meet up with some of our old floor mates and got to meet some new people sitting around the fire pits. It was glow swings and a buffet of snacks and that lo-fi YouTube raccoon music that I put on in the background when I have somebody over to my room for the first time to trick them into thinking I'm a mellow person. All in all, it was a lovely first night on campus. The next day, I picked up my textbooks from, wait for it, a fully accessible bookstore. Look at all of these rows of books available to peruse. Then I left all of those books in their shrink wrap, threw them on my bed, and went to the carnival. I'm just kidding, mom. I'm just kidding. I put them neatly away into the drawer of my desk. The carnival was fantastic. Jonathan showed up to pose for pictures and graciously accept pats. There were lawn games and free t-shirts and inflatable basketball. I also can't go without saying that I absolutely slaughtered my friend in the inflatable maze because this body was chiseled by the gods almost solely to scamper. And in those first couple of days, I couldn't help but feel like I was a freshman, experiencing my first few days of real college. Honestly, out of all of the platitudes that we heard last year, the one that I hated most was from very kind people who told me whenever I expressed discomfort with my college process, oh, you haven't even experienced college yet. This year doesn't count. Phew, I'm glad that year didn't count. So do I get an extra year tacked on at the end or? But I will say that being back on a campus that is a closer approximation to normalcy than anything I've experienced before, I think I understand a little better what they were trying to tell me. Every time I saw a line or a crowd of people, I thought to myself, my god, that's crazy. I've never seen the bookstore or the student union or the dairy bar with that many people before. But as I finish my first week here, it's slowly setting in that 
that's not crazy. That's just the signs of a campus coming fully back to life after a year of desolation. There's energy here. There's laughter in the student union. There's the quiet collaboration of studying in the library. There's wails of soul-wrenching despair from the foosball table in the game room. This week, my classes are starting, and I mean classes. This is my human anatomy and physiology lecture section, which is held in an auditorium with 400 people. 400 in-person people. It's been kind of a culture shock to me to see that my fellow students exist in more than 720 pixels. I guess what I'm trying to say is that everybody always told me that these are going to be the best four years of your life. Maybe they will be. Maybe they won't be. Maybe you've got awesome things in your future as a UConn graduate, but you might as well try and make the most of it. The good news is that it looks like this year we've gotten really lucky and there's going to be a lot to make the most of. I can't wait to see everybody on campus. Have an awesome start to school, Huskies. By the way, this isn't my channel. This is Yukon's channel. And if you don't subscribe, Jonathan the Husky gets really sad. And I know neither one of us want that. So...